YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's Saint Raven here with another video I hope that y'all are doing so good man I, I really do I, I appreciate y'all so much I love y'all now yesterday I was skimming through NFL Network and Mark Ross was on there and they were going through some different notable free agents and where the best fits for those free agents would be what teams that they those free agents should go to what team should sign those guys and Odell Beckham Jr. his name popped up Super Bowl champion Odell Beckham Jr. former Ram former Brown and former Giant wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. his name came up and Mark Ross said that the best fit for him would be the Baltimore Ravens and you know what's funny a, a lot of Ravens fans have actually said the same thing um, and I feel like with Odell Beckham Jr., this is one of those moves, potential moves, where a lot of people could be sort of lukewarm on it. Reason being because it would give you a receiver who's like that. So I feel like that would be a win for some of us who've been wanting another receiver who's like that, a proven guy who's like that. But at the same time, there's another part of Ravens fans who like, no, we don't want nobody. We want to just roll with the guys that we got. And it would also give them that, too, because Odell Beckham Jr. is not going to be available in September. He's not going to be available in October. November, uh, maybe late November could be pushing it in December. We'll see. But signing Odell Beckham Jr., it would be signing him for the long haul part of the season, not the right here and right now. Um, and some of the things that Mark Ross listed as reasons why the Ravens could benefit from signing one Odell Beckham Jr., he listed the receivers that the Ravens currently have, and he said that is not going to be enough to get it done in the playoffs. Now, um, and he listed, he said, hey, Ravens starting receivers could possibly be Rashad Bateman, Devin DuVernay, and maybe even James Prochet. Uh, and he talked about how we know what Mark Andrews can do, but then he said, yeah, that's not going to be enough to get it done. Now, my only pushback with that is not that it won't be enough to get it done in the playoffs, but just simply we just don't know. There's a lack of experience there when it comes to the playoffs. So we don't know how they will perform in the playoffs. Now, he listed uh, Hollywood Brown. He talked about him and how uh, they traded Hollywood Brown away. Um, and he said Hollywood Brown was a disappointment. You know, that's crazy because Hollywood Brown has been so far the, the best receiver and the most polished receiver that the Ravens have both drafted and developed. It's been him. And I know some people go, a lot of people say, oh, well, no, 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 no. Torrey Smith. Torrey Smith is the best one. And I think, no, Hollywood was more polished than Torrey Smith. Torrey Smith was go route. All right, that's it. But Hollywood had more virality uh, than Torrey Smith did. Now, I know a lot of people are going to bring up the drops. And, hey, that's fine. Torrey Smith, he had his drops, too. He made a lot of big plays for the Ravens. So I know a lot of people forget the drops. But Torrey Smith had his drops, too. So, and, and, and even if you put Torrey Smith 1, Hollywood Brown 2. Again, as receivers that Ravens both drafted and developed you still got to put some respect on his name, especially for the Ravens. And I know a lot of people may say, oh, well, we're Ravens with their drafted and developed wide receivers. It's a very low bar. And uh, it, it is, but still, it is what it is. And, and Hollywood has been, uh, in my opinion, the best one that they've ever dra both drafted and developed. Um, so saying that he was a disappointment, I, I don't know. But again, got to remember that with these analysts and experts and commentators and whatnot they can't really dive into every single team the details of every single team like that so it's it's really not a big deal um but anyway uh mark ross also talked about the lack of uh playmakers that lamar jackson has had through the years he said we've been talking about the ravens needing to get lamar jackson more playmakers throughout the years 
And this would be that. It would be getting him a significant playmaker. And it would be because we know Odell Beckham Jr. We know what he's capable of. And even if you've never watched any single Odell Beckham Jr. game besides when he played the Ravens. If you've only watched Odell Beckham Jr. versus the Ravens, then you can see for yourself how much of a playmaker he is. Because we remember that game oof, years ago when he was still with the Giants. Um, and early on, Jimmy Smith, hey, Jimmy Smith was locking him up. Odell Beckham Jr. wasn't doing nothing, nothing. But then Jimmy Smith, he, uh, he did his best Jimmy Smith impersonation and he got hurt. Oh, it was so sad, man. Oh, I, I feel so bad for Jimmy Smith and his career because, man, he, he was nice, man. But of course, injuries just, just killed it, man. Killed it. But anyway, uh, Jimmy Smith was locking him down. Then he got hurt. Then Odell Beckham Jr., he went off. He went off. Even caught the, the game-winning touchdown. Had uh, a cornerback and safety running into each other. Had us looking foolish. And then, of course, there was uh, last season. Last season. Um, and, and it was against uh, an injured and just a beat-up team. Last year when the Ravens played the Rams. Um, and they, they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Super Bowl champions. The Ravens did. Backups literally everywhere, but they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Uh, and Odell Beckham Jr., just he showed that, that clutch. Um, he showed that, that veteran presence, that knowledge of the game, and just that playmaking ability. Because he's like that. When he's healthy, he's like that. Um, now, for me, with Odell Beckham Jr., if the Ravens were to sign... Odell Beckham Jr., I'd be cool with it, but for me, I prefer, and I was just talking to one of my guys about this uh, yesterday, I, I prefer the Ravens to get somebody who's ready right here, right now, so that impact can start right away. Um, if they're going to sign Odell Beckham Jr., cool, but see, me, look, I mean, you could call me greedy, and that's fine, you could call, if you want to call me unrealistic, that's fine, but let me take you through my thought process. Because I know a name that's also been floating out there a lot recently has been Mr. Will Fuller. Oh, and that's, a, that's a little touchy subject right there. Will Fuller. Will, we know Will Fuller is a baller. Big play, wide receiver. We already know what time it is with him, but he's also dealt with injuries. Odell Beckham Jr., he is a baller, big time playmaking wide receiver. But he's also dealt with injuries. He's dealing with an injury right now. So my thinking on the matter would be get both. Let me get both. And the reason I say that, because again, this this week was a uh, this week was a tough week for me. Reason being because I got that notification: DK Metcalf signed an extension with the Seattle Seahawks. And I was just thinking, like, no, DK Metcalf is not going to sign an extension with the Seahawks because, like, they don't even know what's going on with their quarterbacks. They don't know what's going on with their future. Why would he sign an extension there? But Seattle said, hey, money talks. Let's give him the money. Let's show him the bread. I, said, hey, I ain't mad at Seattle for doing that. Well, I was a little bit. But I'm like, okay, it's cool. So my DK Metcalf dream, even though I knew it was going to forever be a dream, it was probably never going to come to fruition and be a reality. But now it's officially closed. The chapter is closed. The door is closed. It's done. Um, but I, I would just, my, my thought process with it is I would love if the Ravens, they double dipped. Because it would be two proven guys. Both got injury issues, so you should expect, like, I'm not going to be, I wouldn't be one of those people that'd be like, oh, well, you know what, maybe a different scenario would change their injury history. No, I, I, I got to be realistic about it. Two guys who have been pretty injury prone throughout their careers. So if you sign both of them, then their injuries could almost like cancel out each other. You get what I'm saying? Like, all right, one receiver's missing time because of this. Oh, but we still got the other one. Oh, the other receiver is missing time because of that injury. Oh, no, but now we got the other one back. So it will be getting like, <laughs> it will be getting like one for the price of two. But then if both of them end up being healthy, ooh, it's a bonus. It's a bonus. But no, seriously, I, I just, 
I, I would like if they got both because it gives you somebody for right here, right now. And it gives you somebody for later on in, in the season just to, to make your firepower that much stronger. And again, it's, it's not going to take away much from the other guys that the Ravens already have. And again, another thing, too, if the, the guys that the Ravens already have are like that, then there wouldn't be anything that they would need to worry about or that any fans would need to worry about. I, I know a lot of fans, they, they like to get on other fans who want the Ravens to bring in a, a receiver. They say, hey, man, if, if the, the Ravens bring in a veteran wide receiver, it's going to take away from the young guys playing time. Who makes the decision on playing time? Who's been making the decisions on playing time? Because it's not us as fans. We, we don't make that decision. That ain't got nothing to do with us. That's the coaching staff. So all that frustration that some fans have towards other fans who want to bring in a veteran wide receiver, playmaking wide receiver, not, not an old wide receiver, not a washed up wide receiver. That ain't the type of veteran I'm talking about. The type of veteran I'm talking about is somebody who's been there, done that, and is like that right now, who can ball right now. So uh, the, a lot of I think a lot of fans have uh, their frustration and their anger is, is misplaced. It, it goes to the wrong place a lot of times. It, that's that's just my opinion. though. But anyway, um, if if the receivers that the Ravens currently have are really like that and putting in that work like that and really making strides, then they're they going to play. They're going to play. But if they're not, then whatever veteran the Ravens sign would step up and, and fill in that role. And again, with uh, with Will Fuller, he would bring just an element of speed that I know Rashad Bateman can move. He, he could certainly move. Um, Devin DuVernay, he got some speed too. James Prochet, he, um, he's, he looks faster than he did last year. And he did say that, hey, I'm trying to work on my speed this year, trying to pick up a little more speed this year. So, we we saw it, uh, especially in the um, in the open practice uh, on Saturday. We did see he did look a little bit faster. So that's a good thing. So you're on the right path. And Tylen Wallace, he got some decent speed too. Uh, but you add a wheel fuller to that. Oh yeah, that yeah that that would make them that much more blazing. You add Odell Beckham Jr. to that, even though he would be again a, a more long term type of guy. Long term this season, I mean, he'll be in, in it for the long run. Not right here, right now, but he'll be for, for later on, down the road. Um, and you, you know what he can do. So, I don't know, man. I, I, I wouldn't be mad at it. Again, Odell Beckham Jr., by himself, I'd be cool with it. But I, I would just feel like the Ravens uh, should do more. But, again, when you think about it, Odell Beckham Jr., by himself, um, it would give the Ravens sort of the best of both worlds to where, again, the guys that they have right here, right now, they can continue to prove themselves. They can hopefully shut a lot of people up, um, including myself, because you, I'm, I, I, am, I am so ready. If those Ravens receivers, they go out there and they ball and they do their thing week in, week out, I am, I am so ready to be like, OK, well, hey, I'm, I'm glad it worked out. And I'm glad they, they proved any, not even doubts, but any just unknown thoughts that I had. I'm, I'm glad that they proved that wrong. I, I'm 2,000% I'm ready to say that. If the Ravens don't go out and get anybody, if they roll what they got, hey, cool. All right, let's get it. Because, again, again I, I do not want people to get anything twisted. We are not rooting against the current wide receivers that the Ravens have. We want them to go out there and do their thing. But it's just a lot of unknown right there. It's a lot of unknown at the position. And that is the part that worries me. The unknown. Um, and again, it could go one of two ways. It could go, all right, hey, NFL don't know about these receivers. They go out there and ball. Or it could be, hey, NFL don't know about these receivers. Oh, it, it, it didn't work out. So hopefully it's the first uh, of those two. So we'll see. We'll see. I know there's been chatter about Odell Beckham Jr. to the Rams. That, that chatter has been happening for a long time. It's been happening for a really long time about him going back there. They got Allen Robinson, who they gave big money to. Uh, they signed Cooper Cup to that big deal. Van Jefferson, I think he's having surgery. 
Um, he having surgery on Sunday, but I think they said he'll be back in like I think six weeks. Something I forgot. I forgot how long. Um, but he could go back there. Obviously, he had a good relationship with the team with the coach. Um, I, I did see some stuff on Twitter, but I, I don't know how real it was or not. Um, it could have been somebody just trolling, but I did see some stuff about some Colts fans talking about Odell Beckham Jr. going to the possibly going to the Colts. It's like, hey, uh, we'll see. But hey, but he's available. He's available right now. Um, one last thing uh, about Odell Beckham Jr. to the Ravens: if they were to sign an Odell Beckham Jr., um, they would have to do their uh, their roster manipulation, manipulating. Excuse me, manipulation. Either word, you could use either word. Uh, they would have to manipulate that roster, and you know the Ravens. They like the Ravens. If, if you study the Ravens, if you watch the Ravens, if you just pay attention to the Ravens, they. Show they teach you so much about the NFL. They teach you so much about the business of the NFL. Um, different like loopholes you could find to get around this and get through that. And da -da -da -da. they they teach you so much because they exhaust every single rule. Um, well, all except when um when I think Julian Edelman was throwing touchdown passes in that playoff game. That was the time where they didn't quite really understand the rule book like that. But anyway, besides that, they like they go through it, man. They go through that rule book and they like, all right, well, if we do this, oh, we can do this too. Oh, oh, we can do that. All right, all right let's get it. But anyway, um, with the Ravens, um, Odell Beckham Jr. Say, for instance, they sign Odell Beckham Jr. He's not going to be ready the first week, first, the second week, third week, fourth week, fifth week, sixth week. Now, um, they could not, what they could not do is put him on the PUP list because if they sign him and they put him on the physically unable to perform list at the start of the season, then he would miss the first six weeks at a minimum, and then um, he would have to then then at that point he has to uh, come back. He would either have to come back, but if he wasn't ready to come back and be put on the active roster, then he would have to go on injury reserve and his season would be over. But for them. Uh, what would give them more flexibility with Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, so he wouldn't have to take up a roster spot. It's like Because cause they could put him on a physically unable to perform list and then bring him back, but just keep him on the active roster but not play him. Uh, what they could do to save that roster spot for when he's actually officially ready, uh, they would have to, if they sign him, they would have to keep him on the active roster once the, the official active roster is set, um, like right before the season starts. And then after that, they will place him on injury reserve. So then they could bring him back whenever he was like officially ready. And he wouldn't be taking up a roster spot. So they could give that roster spot to somebody else. So just something to think about. And that's not only with Odell Beckham Jr. That would be with any player that was injured long term, like a David Ajabo with him. Um, and we'll talk about that in another video. But with David Ajabo, he's somebody that is going to be some possible roster manipulation with. But we'll see how it all works out. But anyway, will the Ravens sign Odell Beckham Jr.? Uh, if I had to give a percentage, well, or what side I was leaning more towards, yes or no, I would probably say no, but it's not the strongest no in the world. Again, reason being because he, he wouldn't be available right away. So with him not being available right away, that that actually makes me feel like they 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 could possibly sign. They would have a greater chance of signing him because he wouldn't be available right away. And they keep saying how committed they are to their wide receivers. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. We out.